Welcome to Fontys Fenlo Informatics Project Management course. Today, introduction. Topics of this video a short introduction to project management. Then, what is a project? Why a project exists? So, why are we doing projects? Difference between operations and projects. We talk about portfolio and program management and what project management actually is in the end. So what is a project? Definition, a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. So a project has a start and an end. And a project usually ends when their objectives have been reached. This can be either the end time, the defined end of the project due to time, or will all the other objectives are actually reached. Of course, another end could be when a project will be terminated. Projects can be large, small, or can actually um, take a short or a long time to complete. So it's not said that project definition is that it's a specific size Why do we need projects? So business value is here the key driver. So the reason for doing projects is should, they should provide business value. They should deliver benefit, which is defined in the business case. So, and this is usually done by bringing a positive change to the organization by adding a, or improving products or services. So objective is uh, to bring this positive change um, actually by adding or improving the products or services. Another reason for projects could be legal aspects. So companies must introduce a change for example if it is required by law or some regulations. So let's have a look on operations and projects. So what is actually uh, the difference and what is, what is operational work and what is project work? So most of the work in an organization is either operational or project work. And the difference is actually, so a project has actually an end. So projects usually end when the project is done and then the project is no longer existing. In operational work generally supports business and systems which means that this is a day-to-day -day daily business work actually. This is ongoing. Yeah, so operational work is actually ongoing. For example the maintenance of systems, the maintenance of IT systems, of IT software, of servers. This is operational work. When project ends, usually you have a deliverable, which can be a service or which can be a system. And this will normally be um, transferred, transitioned to operations. So the work is absolutely different. So the operational work and the project work. Um, but if you deliver things from a project, then it will be provided or given to operations. Because think of making a web shop, creating a web shop in a project. In the end, the web shop is done and you want to or you must um, um, maintain this webshop of course so issues can occur changes can occur some incidents can occur and this is no longer done in a project so we we now know the difference of projects in operational work so different kind of work there are more terms going around and we just want to have a look at the differences over here. And one of the things you 
pretty often stumble upon is program management. So what is program management? As you can see here in the diagram, you have programs As you can see here in the diagram, you have programs and a program consists or can consist of multiple projects. So programs is hierarchically higher than projects. So one program consists of multiple projects and other work which is related to the program and this is actually the important thing so program is a group of projects but these projects are related and you want to manage these projects in a coordinated way yeah, so and the people who are managing that they are called program managers and project the people who are managing the projects are of course called project managers so important to keep in mind is a program is a group of related projects and a program manager is the person who yeah who leads actually the group of related projects and who gives the direction for the project managers so which direction should they go with all the related projects yeah so some examples infrastructure application development user support so common programs in the IT field there's another term going on is program and portfolio management so what is actually now a portfolio so you see over here portfolio is even a bigger hierarchy so it is more um, the idea of which strategic um, direction are we going to to take with our company and so what are we doing with our investments so you group all that in a portfolio and portfolio usually consists of programs one or more programs but immediately you can also have projects under the hood of the portfolio or other related work so a portfolio can consist of multiple programs multiple projects in a hierarchical way so the idea is here strategic so following the strategic objectives and control the organizational investments and to actually manage all that under the portfolio management so portfolio managers are now the people so who manage the portfolio of their organizations and the idea is of course they need to do wise decisions wise investment decisions so which way should we go should we do this project or this program or or the other program or the other project and here you really look at the strategic perspective from a higher level perspective for the company yeah so project has just the project scope of this specific objective you want to achieve by doing this project and portfolio is really the umbrella of all the of all the projects and all the programs let's have a look operational work you see it here on the left side so operations the day-to-day -day work we already mentioned that so all the work you do on day-to-day -day basis for your normal business so if you have your IT company so all the things you have to do the work in your company like 
maintaining um, your servers, your software, fixing bugs, or um, answering user requests, all the work which is this is day-to-day -day business. This is not done in projects because it will usually not end. So, and on the other end, so you see, in operations changes can occur, right? And what you do is, if you have changes, if you recognize you have a change, you have to do a change, a functional change actually, of your, for example, software of your web shop, um, then you decide, for example, to do this in a project. Yeah, so you deliver in this project a specific product or functionality. Yeah? So delivery of a product. So this work will be in the end done in a project because this is not day-to-day -day business. It takes usually longer than a day. Therefore, um, it is not just day-to-day -day business. And projects are structured in, in programs. So you follow a specific goal with a group of projects. And therefore, you bind together your projects in a program. And the uppermost umbrella is then the portfolio. And here you have a look really at the strategy of the company. So what is our idea? What is our vision? Where would, it, where would we like to go to with our company? And you manage that under the hood of the portfolio. So, and again, what is project management then? So now we know what a project is, we know what a program is, we know what a portfolio is. You know, the question is, as we are here in project management course, what is it? Application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. So we right now know there is a specific reason for the project so you have objectives for doing the project and project management is so to say the how-to so how can i do this now so how can i reach this objective in a structured way so how to reach all these goals and you can do this by project management and you do this with the help of all the knowledge the skills the tools the techniques and the processes of all the pro project activities to reach this goal. This is project management.